Welcome to Awesome Video Game Memories, where we talk about awesome memories about video games. My name is Ryan, and I have a guest today. Damien. Damien, yeah, Damien has appeared in a couple of our old skit videos. Oh yeah? You wanna fight for it, you four like an arachnid lover? Well, make me go change this map, cause you know then I'll break your back. It's like you got mommy and daddy issues or something. Would you say a fly-eating, wall-crawling webhead? But we're here today to talk about Marvel vs. Capcom 2. Specifically too, because it's on the Dreamcast and Dreamcast is awesome. So I started playing more vs. Dreamcast 2 like way after the game was already like out. Like I bought it late because I never was able to afford games when it came out. Yeah, um, I remember um, when I first played Marvel vs. Capcom 2. You know, I saw it in the magazines in like the year 2000. So um, like months before it came out, I think like um, this is like around March 2000. I went out and paid $75 for the Japanese version. Wait, so you actually had a Dreamcast? You're one of the few people that owned a Dreamcast when the Dreamcast was out. Well, I didn't exactly buy it um, until the year 2000. I remember when it first came out, you know, I couldn't afford it. Yeah, then, no one could. <laughs> <laughs> I was able to get a part-time job, so I was able to buy the Dreamcast. Oh, man. I just, it's weird for me, because I didn't like find out about the Dreamcast till after I had like my PlayStation 2 and everything. I went back and when I finally did play Dreamcast, I'm like, why wasn't this more popular? Like, <laughs> no, it's a better system. That's right. So anyway, so, so Marvel vs. Capcom 2, uh, what was your initial reaction when you first started playing? When I first started playing, it was in the arcade, actually, and uh, I sucked really, really, really yeah. bad. Yeah, yeah, me too. <laughs> and I didn't know what the hell was going on with the tag, the tag outs, the fucking combos. But, sorry. I didn't know. I didn't know what was going on with the supers. Like you can combo, like you can combo the supers and all that. Like to whatever. I had no idea what was going on. I just played Spider-Man. I played Wolverine. And I played Cyclops because that's right. what I like. <laughs> that's all I really knew until I actually played it more. And I, then, like even now, I still play it at hours at a time. Yeah. So I remember when I first played the game. Um, well, I, I played Japanese version first, so I didn't exactly have. Um, an English manual, so I had to go to GameFAQs and... Oh, know, good old GameFAQs, yeah, yeah, good old GameFAQs. It's still around! <laughs> I know, you told me, I was shocked! <laughs> I was seriously shocked GameFAQs is still around, because it used to just be a wall of text. I didn't know people still read. Right, so, when I first started playing the game, you know, um, I had to learn how to do, you know, the... You know, I had to learn how to tag out, because you know, it, it's a little different than Marvel vs. the first Marvel vs. Capcom. Well, like, you didn't go in there, like, test the individual button to see what he did? Because the triggers was the... No, oh, it wasn't, right? It was the two... I mean, yeah. It was, like, mediums and hards, right? Yeah, I think it was, it was the mediums and hards that switched you out, and, like, you had to press them at the same time. Yeah. But, I had to, but you know, I, I just had to learn, like, the triggers would, you know, like, bring in, like... The little the, assist. Yeah, your assist. And oh, because God. I had a Japanese version, I could not read what any of the assists were. So I would just choose the top one each time. I always went with recommended. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, so, so, so especially with the Japanese version. Yeah. What I remember about the game was the music. I still even like the music. Yeah, the music is pretty cool. Although it's not my favorite fighting game with the best soundtrack, for me that would be uh, Capcom vs. SNK 2. Yeah. But still, the, game, the music was good and it was... Freaking, I, I don't know, I grew up like near cakes playing all the games yeah. that led up to it, like X-Men Children. Yeah, me too. <laughs> and then the X-Men vs. Marvel. Wasn't it X-Men? Oh no, X-Men vs. Street Fighter. Yeah, X-Men vs. Street Fighter, then Marvel Super Heroes vs. Street Fighter. Then Marvel Super Heroes, yeah, then it just became Capcom vs. DC. And then Capcom vs. DC too. And I played those in the arcade and I was never good. Oh, I was. Uh, I don't think there was a Capcom vs. DC. I said, <laughs> Capcom vs. <versus> Marvel. <laughs> I'm not tired at all. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, dude, I just remember playing those games and like spending quarters on them like Yeah, me too. <laughs> like a dummy. So like finally learned how to play. <laughs> now it's like I can go into arcade and like spend a quarter and finish the game. <laughs> yeah, I know it's gotten a little bit easier since then. I don't know if it's gotten easier. I mean I still play the same games when I go to the arcade. Right. But I just I know how to play them now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so like yeah, so like what was your favorite team to use? Oh, I can't. Oh. Iceman, because he was hacks. I always like playing Spider-Man, but uh, I don't know. It just depends on like what superhero I was into like that week. Like right now, I'm really into Gambit, so I've been playing Gambit a lot. But you're wearing a Captain America shirt. Uh, but that's because Tatum is gonna be amazing. Yeah. <laughs> no. Uh, yeah. Captain America is always like a staple character. Like I always go back to him. Like. All right. Yeah, he's fun too. Him and Hulk. Hulk. And Colossus. Oh. Colossus. Oh, I love Colossus. <laughs> 
Yeah, I wasn't much of a Colossus player, to be honest. What? Colossus <laughs> is amazing! <laughs> He's like a tank! He just <laughs> I'm not really into the tank characters like Juggernaut and Hulk and Colossus. But he, actually, he can actually move around and like do damage. Like He can dash across the screen if you use him. Right? Yeah, oh yeah, I've seen that. It's happened to me online, so... <laughs> you can play it online? 360 and the PS3. Did they do it for the PS3? Yeah, because I'm not gonna play my game yeah, on that uh, 360 controller. It's, uh, I don't know, I've never been a fan of the Xbox controller. Right. <laughs> Going back to the Xbox, the original one that I still have. Yeah, it's a pretty tough controller to use. Uh, with the yeah, yeah, they actually did release Marvel vs. Capcom 2 for the Xbox. Did they? Yeah, and it's worth a lot of money. Is it? Yeah. Why? It's on an Xbox. Um, <laughs> I'm not a fanboy at all. <laughs> because of how not many people you know, bought that version of the game. But. The, the, there's still copies out there, right? Like that never sold, or they just uh, trashed them. I imagine there's still retail copies out there. I'm sure there are, but they're worth a lot of money if you go and eat them. Wow, that's crazy. And Until all, they re-release it, because they yeah. could do that. And, and also now that because Capcom doesn't have the Marvel license, unless they, you know, unless they beg Disney, <sighs> so <laughs> we're probably not going to see another home console release. I don't know. I mean, I didn't play Marvel vs. Capcom 3 because it looked bad to me. Oh. I didn't like, to me it actually looked bad. Oh, really? <laughs> I got to play like a little bit of it and just the like if I remember right having the the specials on one button kind of yeah. killed it for me. And it was <coughs> I don't know, it's too cartoonish. Like believe it or not, that game was even more cartoonish than Marvel vs. Capcom 2, which is a cartoon <laughs> yeah, game, you know? Cartoon. <laughs> it was just too cartoonish for me. Yeah, so my favorite team to play was always Wolverine, Venom and Ryu. Oh, Venom was hacks in the arcade because yeah. you can hit a special like anywhere and it would take up most of the screen. Yeah, exactly. Unless they blocked it. <laughs> but, I don't know. I never played against anybody who was that good, I guess. <laughs> right. So, like, um, so, were you really good at the combo system or not? Or, like, did you just mash a button? Um, I had my own combos. I always tripped and set up knockdowns, like trips. Right. So I would jump in a tag and into a trip, jump down into, into a trip, and then set up for specials. I never really, like, went for the high combos. Okay. Because I, I remember I was playing in the arcade against this one guy. Then you know he he he, he had like that Magneto storm and someone else come. You know like the ones the, you know, like the big unstoppable combo that can just juggle you the entire round. I never got juggled. I don't know. Maybe I didn't play against good people, but I never got juggled. Yeah, like, I played against some good people. I was always I was always blocking. Like <laughs> I was just my 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 big, my finger was constantly on the back button blocking. Right. Because yeah. I know like Marvel vs. Capcom too. Uh, it's pretty broken at times. Well, yeah, you have like Iceman. Even if you block, you still take damage. Or was it like there was a way to switch uh, uh, Juggernaut out so he never took damage during his special uh, right. uh, assist or whatever? I don't know. There was a lot of hacks, but I never really. I don't know. I didn't play it like that. I just played, I guess, casually. I never really bothered learning them. Or... Right. Yeah. Well, I'm mostly a casual player, but then you know, I have played people in the arcade who are really good. And for the PS3 version, which you can. You know, but you can play online, and there are a lot of good people out there. <laughs> like, really good. Now I have to see this. Yeah, but it's, uh, it's really hard. I remember I had a friend. The reason, like, I got into it, I think, in the arcade division and then over to the console was because I had a friend who literally had a list of teams. Oh, really? By theme. <laughs> by theme? Okay. So, Team you... Russia, Team Japan, um, like, so the, the Girl Aven Power Team, yeah, the so Avengers. The like, Avengers team. Yeah, well, actually what's kind of funny about the Xbox 360 and the PS3 versions, like there's achievements saying if if you beat the game with like members of the Avengers, you know, which would be Spider-Man, Iron Man, and Captain America, you, you get a trophy for that. Dude, I'm telling you, this guy had a list of like yeah. over a hundred <laughs> themed teams. And he was good with all of them. It didn't matter what he played. Every oh, character yeah. he picked up, he was good. And <laughs> Servot. Oh god, I remember. Like that's I never got yodeled, but I always got killed. Like no matter what yeah, I did, Serv like Servo that was, was one person nice. I didn't like. I never won. His Servo was nasty. Let's see who else. There were some nasty characters there, like Doctor Doom and his yeah, Doctor Doom's his little nice. storm where he throws the rocks at you. That was pretty hacks too. But I don't know. The whole game, like if you're good, can be hacks. Oh yeah, definitely. I just like playing with different characters. <laughs> yeah, me too. Because there's 56 characters. Dude, Marvel. Well, yeah, like the Marvel superheroes, the Street Fighters, the like Jill Valentine, the Dark Stalkers, oh, the Dark Stalkers, yeah, yeah, Mega Man, <laughs> Mega Man. I, I never got more. I, I always wanted more Dark Stalker characters. Like, yeah, uh, I don't remember his name, but the Wolf. So, how many characters did you unlock when you first played? 
I literally sat there and played it until I unlocked all the characters. Because on the console version, it had the secret factory. Yeah. And so you earn points, and then you just go and spend your points. Right, because um, I remember in the Japanese version, like, you can unlock a certain amount of characters with the secret factory, you know, by getting points in the single player mode. The problem is you... <laughs> You actually couldn't unlock the rest of the characters unless you played online. And me, man, me being in America, I could not, and I could not connect to anyone online in Japan. So, See, I mean, nowadays, like the internet's easy. Yeah, exactly. Back in the day, it was not so easy. That's why I never, I think that I never really got into much online stuff until like after DSL was cheap. Because right. <laughs> I mean, there was a few games, but like, I mean. Back in the day, online, just going online was difficult because you had to tie up the phone line to do it. Yeah, exactly. And when you live with like a family, that's not easy. You know? Right, yeah. I remember being a kid and like using the dial up internet and someone would call and you just like middle of game and like you have to stop. <laughs> yeah, or like trying to download a song that took like hours, just one song to take. Oh my god, that was a yeah. nightmare. But. Yeah, like I was able to get all the characters in the Japanese version when my friend downloaded the save from GameFAQs. See, GameFAQs back in the day was yeah. Sorry, it was awesome. I'm still so, like, I, I completely forgot about GameFAQs because I don't use it anymore. Like, right. just go to YouTube and look up guides. Exactly. So like, yeah, so when you reach the final boss of this, what did you think of him? At first, I thought he was freaking hard as hell. I had no yeah, idea. How to I couldn't beat the third form. I had no idea what you were supposed well, to do. Yeah, for the longest time, I couldn't beat the third form. Now I like now I can play it and like I, I'll beat him without using any special attacks. Just oh wow, really, really <laughs> that's really good. It's not that good. It's easy when you figure out the <laughs> yeah. patterns. Yeah. Oh, yeah, but it's just you just block and then when he moves or teleports or in between his land as special attacks, you just jump up and attack the reward. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I just remember that. Yeah, yeah. But, I don't know. Now he's easy, but yeah, yeah, he's pretty easy. It's funny because I remember just sitting like trying to figure out how to beat him, I couldn't do it. Like, right. I just did not get it, like... That's the good thing about fighters, though, it's like, once you get it, like, it's fun. Yeah. But yeah, I remember the third form, it's, you know, that, that really huge, he's this really huge thing. Yeah. And, and you know, like, it, it's kind of easy to hit, but he moves around so much. And ex he, especially that attack that, you know, like, that comes to the ground. You have to be blocking while he starts the attack, and most yeah. of the time, if the attack starts off screen. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, definitely. That's yeah. What, I that's that. what it's that's what it was that's what it was that's what I was doing. I was I am telling you, I'm always in the, the back button, so I'm always like <laughs> walking forward and guarding at the same time. Whoa. So as soon as he starts a special attack, I'm crouched and guarding and it's like okay. <laughs> yeah, he's all chipped away at me, but I'm already like blocking. Well, I tend to play very aggressively, so maybe that's why I kept losing. <laughs> yeah, so like right after the special attack I would just dash in, jump in, and then attack the little orb. Right. I mean now you or you can just cheat and use the Iceman and other Oh yeah. Iceman was such a, he's still a, like so cheap. Still like him though. Yeah, like I remember when in order to be a Abyss, you know, I would make a team of BB Hood, um, Iron Man, and War Machine, and I would just use a, uh, you know, I would just use their special where they all come out together and blast blast everything for like a hundred for like a hundred. You could have juiced the Iceman. Yeah, I probably should have. <laughs> it would be great if I played Iceman though. But he's just doing special and like hey, like half his health is gone. Yeah. Yeah, I should probably do that next time. Yeah, no, Iceman hacks and, the, and like the final boss, he just destroys any of his forms because yeah. every single one of his attacks hits. Okay. And he hits a lot. Yeah, I should try that next time. <laughs> yeah, so also, what did you think of the ending? Even though the ending was the same for every character. I didn't care for it. Usually, I love to play uh, games for the storyline. Yeah. Even though fighting games aren't known for having storyline, but I like the little animations and the cuts and all that, like the little in between the interactions in between characters. Yeah, that was pretty cool. I didn't know the story for the longest time. I didn't know that, that this little orb appeared and they're out to kill it and yeah. save <laughs> the universe. I didn't even know who the, the new character they introduced, Ruby Hart. I didn't even know why she was in there. Yeah, I think she was like the main character of the game. Yeah, but I don't know if she comes from another game or not. Like, I actually I don't, don't know. I actually still don't know if she's part of another like game or. I yeah. just thought she was made just for this game. Right. But um, um, one thing I did like was the artwork, like the Japanese game. Yeah. I don't know if you can see it. The artwork's different. I always liked like the this this style artwork is pretty cool to me. I was I was a big fan of that. I think that's one of the things that actually drew drew me to the game. Yeah, I remember like the US artwork was just maybe just Psylocke and Cable on it. Cyclops? I don't remember, but it's it's a little different. But it, even the art, like, 
They have merchandise everywhere. They have like little posters. I don't remember that stuff being everywhere. I don't know why. Maybe, yeah. uh, maybe I don't remember so well now. Yeah. yeah so, uh, so, so over the years, I still play. Has it aged well? Maybe. Yeah. yeah. One of the best things about this game, it wasn't 3D. It wasn't polygon. It's the 2D sprites. Yeah. And those seriously aged the best. Well, but Marvel vs. Capcom 2 still looks very good. I like the way it looks better than Marvel vs. Capcom 3. Yeah. Even though it's shinier, it doesn't look good to me. Right. Yeah, I agree. That's one of the reasons I didn't get into it or play that much. It wasn't because I don't play consoles, just because it doesn't look good to me. Right. Okay, cool. Now, for anyone who hasn't played fighting games, would you personally recommend Marvel vs. Capcom 2? Yeah. Definitely. It's easy game to get into. It's definitely like easy to play button mash. You can do great button mashing. Yeah, exactly. You can it's do amazing button mashing. Button mashing. <laughs> you really can. But if you want to be like get good and it's a great game to get into because you really can yeah. get good at it. Exactly. Um, I still play it often. <laughs> yeah, me too. I, 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 I still erase my save data and start over again just to unlock characters. So yeah, I definitely recommend okay, it. Right. Awesome. Dude, awesome. <laughs> Yeah, so you can get Marvel vs. Capcom 2 off eBay because um, because of the Disney and Marvel rights and Capcom rights thing. Uh, you really can't get this game anywhere. I know it was released for Dreamcast. It was released for iOS. Have you played the iOS version? No. I'm telling you, I, I <laughs> don't even know what you get. <laughs> it was released for PS2, Xbox, and the Xbox 360. I do PS2, but... And the PS3. If I remember right, Dreamcast looked a lot better than the PS2. Yeah, yeah. but the PS2 one's more rare. <laughs> it didn't do that well on PS2, did it? No, it didn't. I remember that. I mean, there's a reason I bought it on Dreamcast. I don't know, the Dreamcast is just the yeah, better system. Because it was built for the Dreamcast hardware, obviously. Yeah, it just, <laughs> like, it just plays better on Dreamcast. Yeah. And if you ever play the iOS version, it's so it's difficult to play. <laughs> You're playing it on your phone. It's iOS, man. <laughs> I couldn't even like do a special move on it. It's a touch screen. <laughs> I don't know, I guess you could buy a controller for it. Yeah, yeah. I think there's controllers now, but, yeah, I, don't, Bluetooth controller. but I don't think you can buy the game anymore though. No. Really? Yeah. I, I would still go out there and find it on a recast. It's, it's getting rare, but it's still not that rare. Yeah, it's affordable. So. There's a lot of used game places that still have yeah. it. Definitely. Yeah. Alright, so that wraps up this episode of Awesome Video Game Memories. I'm Ryan. Hey. And if there's a game that you would like for us to talk about here on Awesome Video Game Memories, make sure to leave those in the comments. Take care.